Hey everybody, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts and today I want to get hands on with PR Lotion by Amp Human and tell you my thoughts on this high tech biocarbonate lotion. If you haven't heard of this natural electrolyte sodium bicarbonate, you might know it from another name baking soda. Now, sodium bicarbonate has been known for a long time to be a strong performance enhancer, but unlike other electrolytes, it's actually able to neutralize the acid buildup in our muscles that would prevent us from pushing harder and longer in our workouts, our events. Now, you might be wondering if baking soda or sodium bicarbonate works so well, why doesn't everybody take it? Well, as somebody who has experimented a ton with sodium bicarbonate in the past for my own athletic endeavors, I will tell you why. See, before something like PR lotion, you had to take sodium bicarbonate orally, which if you were dumb like me, you would just pour a bunch of baking soda into water. And if you haven't tried drinking baking soda in water, I'm here to tell you, don't do it. It's one of the worst and most awful tasting substances on earth. I would not wish on my worst enemy to have to drink several glasses of that stuff. It's nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Now, for those who are smarter than me, you could take sodium bicarbonate in a pill form, which many people do, but there's still a big problem. You ever see a video of baking soda and Coca-Cola mixed together and see what happens? Now, the same thing doesn't exactly happen in your stomach, but it kinda does a little bit. And so there tends to be a lot of bloating and GI issues associated with oral intake of sodium bicarbonate. I know for me personally that my stomach would get really extended. And although I felt like I could push harder and longer than I normally could during my workouts, it was just so uncomfortable and just not practical to take when I was training or competing. Well, Amp Human came up with a solution called PR Lotion because with PR Lotion, you can get that sodium bicarbonate in your system without taking it orally, and so it doesn't have to bypass through your stomach. So you get the performance benefits of less fatigue, quicker recovery, and less soreness without feeling terrible, or in my case, not having to down a bunch of disgusting baking soda. Now, sodium bicarbonate as a supplement or performance enhancer is going to have a wide range of benefits depending on who you are. As with any supplement, there is a bell curve of how much benefit you will get from it. Some people will get a ton of benefit from it, some people will get no benefit, and most people fall right in the middle. So if I tell you it works for me or my friend, well, that won't tell you much about how it will work for you. So to put PR lotion to the test, Kalia and I both retested our 1K calibration row on the Ergata rower. We had finally gotten the Ergata rower just three days prior to this. So we had recently just tested our 1K because on the Ergata, when you first get it, you have to do the 1K in order for it to calibrate to your fitness level and to be able to develop the programs that make sense for you. So about 60 to 90 minutes prior to our retest of the 1K, we lathered up the PR lotion onto our legs and our arms, as it is suggested that you put it on at least 60 minutes before your workout. For Kaylee, she wanted to go the scenic route, so she found a nice little scenic row to do her 1K test on and she improved significantly. I mean, if you've rode before, you know there's a big difference between these two numbers. However, I will say that that was Kaylee's first time doing a 1K row time trial. So she was pretty new to that distance and was really careful the first time not to go out too hard. So it was probably inevitable that she would hit a PR, but it was still great that she was able to hit such a big PR just three days after the first one. Now for me, I've rode a lot in the past and I've had my share of 1K row time trials. So I knew a little bit more about what I was getting into when I first jumped onto the Ergata. My 1K time three days prior to this was three minutes and 12 seconds. But this time around, just three days later, I was on pace to get my best 1K time ever at sub three minutes. However, tragedy struck at the very last few seconds. I was about 60 meters away from finishing when I probably made too erratic of a movement or a pull and somehow the power cord just fell out just for a millisecond and came back in. And what that did was it caused the Ergata to reset. Now I was hopeful that it would still count it because it was so close, but when I got back to the Ergata, 
you can see my face. I wasn't too happy that my score wasn't there and it was all for nothing. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I was able to push significantly harder than I ever have. And I've been rowing for over 13 years. So again, I mentioned that you can't listen to one person's experience to get an understanding of what a supplement will do for you because we all react differently. But I definitely felt a lot stronger and my recovery was a lot better during this 1K row time trial than it has ever in the past. So I'm super excited to continue experimenting with PR lotion on my workouts. If you are interested in checking out Amp Humans PR lotion, I do have a link in the description below. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me here with Connect the Watts today. If you enjoyed the video, you thought it was useful, make sure to give it a like as it helps us out a ton and it's very easy and free for you to do. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.